Scott, so just talk us through it. I mean, just kind of from from first serve, you guys seem to dominate today. Um, well, I don't know if we dominated because <laughs> how long ago we knew it was a good team to begin mm -hmm. with. We knew they were going to pass the ball extremely well. Um, we okay. knew that as far as giving, getting aces, we get aces on a lot of teams. I think last week against Heights, we had 24 aces in three games. Well, I knew it wasn't going to happen, but I was hoping if we could get yeah. like six or seven. And I don't know if we got that. I'll have to take a look again. I'm still, but um, I don't remember them having very many serve receive errors. Um, we knew that was going to happen. We were kind of hoping, you know, maybe we could get them out of system a lot more. Um, but their their passes did a wonderful job. The libero was amazing, just an amazing player. Um, so we knew they were going to dig well. Uh, we knew that the, the, the issues were going to be on slides. If we could run slides and force their middle to have to guess, are they going to go outside to Madeline or are they going to run a back ball? Are they going to go outside to Haley or are they going to make them guess? Mm -hmm. and, um, and we did a pretty good job with that. We ran a lot of slides against them today compared to what we normally do. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, you know, running, everybody tries to prepare for Madeline. I mean, that's normal. I mean, she reaches 9, 9 10, I think. So it's two inches away from uh -huh. touching the rim. I mean, I mean, that hits over a lot of blocks. But um, everybody prepares for her, um, but we still okay. go to her a lot. You know, I said a thousand times, yeah. you know, teams prepare for the best players all the time. No matter, I mean, teams yes. play, prepare for Aaron Rodgers yeah. all the time. I mean, teams that use Pat, yeah. they still use them. It's not like they stop. So, I mean, we still we still continue to use Madeline, but the thing is when Madeline goes in the back row, Haley comes in the front row. And she's she's a, she's an effective hitter. She's just awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and then teams no, have to look I and say, oh my gosh, now we got to go after Haley. We got to try to stop Haley. But then we run our slides. We run our middles. And now they think, oh my, now where are we going to go? You know, we got to try to take care of the slides in the middle. Now we got to take care of the outside. We're not sure where the ball's going to go. And um, we run our slides with low sets so that if you're if you're there if you're not there, you're late. Mm -hmm. And we come right back across. Mm -hmm. And so um, we did that very well. It seemed like the majority of those long rallies, your team pulled those off. Yep. That was key. Yep. Um, and we, we've been preaching that from day one. Relentless defense, relentless play. Um, be respectful of your teammates by playing your position the right way. If the ball's in your area, it's your responsibility to play it. You're really just in a square, or a rectangle maybe, but, um, but it's your responsibility for any ball in that area, and the, your teammates are counting on you to do that. So you want your teammates to respect you, and so we've been preaching that all year, and it's you know, obviously it's worked, you know, because you know, our defense is really, really good. Uh, we picked up a lot of their tips. We knew they were going to end up doing a lot of tipping. We knew their setter was going to dunk. Their setter didn't dunk as much as we thought, um, but we picked up, we picked quite a few of them up. I know she, she may have burned us once. Um, their middle hitter number eight had a really good night. Um, we, it was very difficult for her to, for us to stop her, even though we could see where she was. Um, so hats off to that girl for playing well. You, you mentioned their setter, but. Your setter. I feel like a lot of teams having a freshman setter yeah. at this level might get a little nervous, but yes. I mean, she looks like she's been out here for years. She just her everything right. about her play. You, she doesn't look like a fresh, yeah. freshman. She, <laughs> she doesn't. And I and I talked with her and, and some of my seniors before the game, and I said, take the pressure off of her. She's 14 years old. She's in front of thousands of people in a big game. Take the pressure off of her. You know, if she gets in the ball near you, take care of it. Um, but you're right, I mean, she played like a season event, you know, I mean, she, but she's been on the spotlight before at Nationals and things yes. like that. Mm -hmm. um, I believe she had received an MVP, the MVP award mm -hmm. at Nationals one year, I, mean, I think she was 13 then. Mm -hmm. um, and so she's been playing in big games for quite a long time. Um, and so, but for her to play in this type of situation in front of all of her friends and family with kids who are not her age mm -hmm. against kids who are not her age mm -hmm. is... I saw another level yeah. play out of her. So she, she's done an amazing job all year. She saved quite a few of bad passes, as you can see. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I mean, she ran a lot down. I think there was a rally on game two on that side oh, where she just sprinted mm -hmm. all over the place. And we've kidded her all year long about, you know, in track, you might want to run the two mile. You know, you'll, be in, you'll be ready for it. And she's not in for that. <laughs> You guys go up two sets to none. You just kept your foot on the on the on the pedal there. You, you yep. warded off their mm -hmm. their rally, but mm -hmm. how important was it to, to not push it to a fourth or a fifth there? Um, it's ridiculously huge because if you give a team when when you take care of especially the second game where we're up by so much, and then you allow them to come back like we did, and then if they were to win that game, and now their adrenaline and momentum switches. I mean, volleyball's momentum back and forth all the time. But all of a sudden they get a hold of, they get that taste of we can win this game. Oh, then, then it gets a little choppy. Um, so for us to get the second game and just really and just kind of try to dominate them. And then the third game we talked about, you, we got them. You, like you said before, keep the foot on the pedal, hard for the whole way and just try to dominate them. And I said to the girls, I said, now this is pride. You know, do you want this game really bad or are you going to let them back in? And they, 
I think by their play, it was pretty obvious. I mean, all running down all the balls. I think the first pass, first point of the game, Madeline ran down two different balls and they were going out of, out of, out of bounds. So, um, oh, I, I, they showed a lot of character. I'd be very interested to see Crowell's game. I didn't see, I saw one point in that marathon game. <laughs> I have no idea what we're up against. I have no clue. Yeah. I'm going to have to try to watch it. Good.